Johnny Depp has struck up a strange friendship with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman after the kingdom's ruling family invested millions in the actor's latest film. Mohammed bin Salman has spent billions under his Vision 2030 plan to make Saudi Arabia, plagued by accusations of human rights abuses, into a cultural and economic powerhouse by investing in the arts, sports, and forging personal relationships with stars. Depp, 60, first met Mohammed bin Salman, 38, in the summer of 2022 after filming the film Jean Dubarry, in which Saudi Arabia invested millions. They made a real connection. It's a shock to a lot of people who know, Depp, but this is what happened, one of Depp's friends told Vanity Fair. Both men have faced a reckoning in public perceptions of their carefully crafted images in recent years. Depp was found to have abused his ex-wife Amber Heard domestically when he lost a libel case in the UK in 2020. Two years later, a series of disturbing details were made public, including accusations of sexual assault after he successfully sued Heard for defamation. Mohammed bin Salman, once a favorite of Western leaders who viewed him as a great reformer, has irreversibly damaged his image by imposing sanctions over the 2018 killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Dip insists that Saudi Arabia is witnessing a cultural revolution. Although I admit I was somewhat naive at first as to what was happening in the region, I have since witnessed firsthand the cultural revolution taking place there, Dip told Vanity Fair. He explained that the country has emerging young storytellers spreading new ideas and artworks in a thriving cinematic infrastructure and a new curiosity for innovation. Adding, I had the opportunity to meet people from different parts of the region who were more than welcoming to me sharing their culture, traditions, and stories. As part of his Vision 2030 plan, Mohammed bin Salman spent hundreds of billions on sports, tourism, the arts, and other projects such as real estate to wean the country away from its dependence on oil money. He has made the entertainment industry, including film production, a major focus, hoping it will boost tourism numbers and improve cultural perceptions of the controversial kingdom while encouraging the country's 30 million people to increase their domestic entertainment spending. The Kingdom's Public Investment Fund invested millions in holding the LIV Golf Tournament, attracting players such as Dustin Johnson and Sergio Garcia. The PIF also provided the bulk of the funds for a Saudi takeover of Newcastle United Football Club in 2021, a controversial deal that became a hot-button issue for the UK government. We're making up for lost time and making sure that our country realizes its potential, a Saudi government advisor told Vanity Fair. Depp previously associated with another Saudi prince, Abdulaziz bin Fahd, but a member of his entourage was convicted of raping a woman in 2012 at the Plaza Hotel in Manhattan, where the prince had rented out a block of rooms. Prince Abdulaziz stopped appearing in public in 2017, having been detained by MBS along with 300 of Saudi Arabia's richest men on suspicion of corruption. The prince eventually re-emerged, smiling for a photo with MBS, but he has kept a very low profile ever since. The sudden disappearance reportedly made Depp wary of an initial meeting with any further Saudi royals. However, he was talked around and met with Prince Bad, the kingdom's culture minister, in July 2022. A few months later, he flew to Jeddah for the 2022 Red Sea Film Festival and during the trip was introduced to the crown prince. Depp visited again in early 2023 and was invited to MBS's royal camp in the mountains. The actor also flew on multiple occasions by helicopter to MBS's yacht, one of the largest in the world. The two men are now close friends, according to Vanity Fair, and friends of Depp told the publication he values the friendship and doesn't want anything in return. However, Depp's team are in talks with the Saudi government are in talks over a seven-figure deal for him to attend events and shoot films in the country, the outlet reported.